Still lives with Mumsy, no intention to leave home. She treats him like the king of the castle with his own damn throne. He feels no way a different gal every night. Bribing his 12-year-old brother, free up their room or face a fight. How can you tell me this guy's not a waste man? My style is out without apology. Um, it's direct, it's unflinching, it's unapologetic. And um, I think I often say the things that people would like to say, but don't want to offend. Claims he can't pay child support on his DSS supported income, yet rocks a whole heap of rings and chains made from pure platinum. How can you tell me this guy's not a waste man? I um, write and perform spoken to poetry in and around London. I also host poetry events um, with Partners in Rome. It takes guts to perform. Every single time you go on the stage, you will be nervous. I find smaller crowds harder to do than larger crowds anyway. People smiling make me happy. Manners and breeding. Chris teeth make me happy. I want a man. Yeah, you heard right. I said I want a man. But not just any man. I want a hard-working, giving, caring, sharing, proud to say I know him, honest man. A knows how to treat a lady, demonstrates chivalry and understands the definition of monogamy man. A soul man, a brother man, a man who knows how to get down and put it on me man. A strong-willed, no-nonsense, not having a bar of it, man's man. I want a man who will take on that traditional role. Be the provider, the lover, the intellect rouser, the I wear the trousers around here man, man. A testosterone fueled vest wearing, shirt sporting, masculine self-assured, decisive man. One willing to be the alpha to my amiga, I be his student and he, he be my teacher man. Open to suggestion, receptive to my opinion and not considered to be a waste man. I want a man who knows how to articulate himself based on his environment man. Not a man who speaks to himself in the third person referring to himself as man's, get me, fam. An aspiring, driven, ambitious man, willing to work hard for his goals and achievements, man, a happy to carry his child on his shoulders or link hands on road, man. Now I can see in here that some of you beautiful ladies also want a man. Shout out to all my strong, independent, single ladies. Can I get an A, man? I'm guessing that you too want someone fitting those descriptions, ticking off your boxes and each finger on each hand. But ask yourself this, what have you got to offer this man? Most men want an attractive, hygienic, fun-loving, non-nagging, natural, nurturing woman. One who'll cook, clean, mentally challenge and stimulate a man's mind type of woman. Ambitious but also a believer in his ambitions and feats. Codependent, understanding and submissive sometimes when he speaks. A lady in the streets whilst the freak had a week between the sheets. Not neck swinging, finger clicking, dismissive and disrespectful towards him, especially on the street. Knows how to conduct herself appropriately at home, on road or anywhere in between. Willing to work towards common goals, making her worthy of being his queen. So to all of us independent, I've got my own things, don't need no man for nothing, woman. That if he liked it, then he should have put a ring on it, Manchester singing women. All us young, free and single and loving it, sex in the city women. Please, 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 let's stop the front in, because we're murking it for the entire kingdom of women. In our quest to find the ideal man, we've conjured up a scientific, prosthetic, genetically modified, unrealistic man. Listening to our single girlfriends who are quick to tell us his faults, that he said, this she said, and they saw reports. Chastising him for not meeting our ideology of what it means to be a man, but conveniently forgetting we've never been a man. Upset, irate, claiming men aren't chivalrous anymore. Annoyed that he walked ahead of us but didn't hold open any doors. Yes, he was raised to respect women, to honour our presence. Yet all we've done is reject his sentiments and display our indifference. Chivalry's not dead, we just knocked it the hell out and put it in a coma. It's time to bring the smelling salts and entice it from its slumber. So the next time a man offers to buy us dinner or a drink at the bar, it's not necessary to proclaim I'm my own house, pay my own bills and I drive a brand new car. What do you want him to do? What's he supposed to do to think or win? One minute we want him to act like a man, but two twos were independent. His assistance is a sin. Emasculation of a man should be classified a crime against humanity. But some of us have got that on lock, like it's our number one priority. Citing every man as a waste man, you know, to anyone who'll listen about how worthless he is. Telling everyone that knows him he don't represent for his kids. When these times we know that's a lie, it's a blatant fallacy. We're just acting up and exhibiting scorn because he calls another woman wifey. Can't deal with the obvious, he's moved on, she's 
keeping him happy. Spending too much of our time chatting about her head's dry and nappy. Upset that he walked, that he finally left. Conveniently forgetting all the times we happily sang to the left, to the left. I'm tired of witnessing witch hunts and men hunts. It's time to show love and give up on the brother crunch. Unity takes time, dedication, nurturing and patience. It's time to rebuild black on black love and reinstate our relations.